The two crabs. Two crabs, the mother and daughter, having been left by the receding tide, were creeping again towards the water, when the former, observing the awkward gait of her daughter, got into a great passion, and desired her to move straight forward, in a more becoming and sprightly manner, and not crawl sidling along in a way so contrary to all the rest of the world. Indeed, mother, said the young crab, I walk as properly as I can, and to the best of my knowledge. But if you would have me go otherwise, I beg you would be so good as to practice it first, and show me by your own example how you would have me conduct myself. Application. Ill examples corrupt even the best natural disposition, and it is in vain to instruct our children, their talents being only imitation, to walk by one rule if we ourselves go by another. The good precepts which we may lay down to them will be bestowed in vain if they see by our own conduct that we pursue a contrary course to that which we recommend to them. Parents, therefore, who are desirous of working an effectual reformation in their children, should begin by making a visible amendment in themselves. And this is a duty they owe to society, as well as to their offspring, it becoming of the utmost importance to both, that probity and honour be early instilled into their youthful minds, as these grow with their growth, and while at the same time they command respect, they lay the foundations of their individual happiness through life.